Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. As you can see, um, I have a friend here. Uh, but before that, uh, remember, hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. I'll wait a second while you do that right now. Thank you. All right, remember, never to fall for spam. Anything, nothing that I say is a suggestion for you to what? Buy, hold, or sell. I want you to do your own due diligence, okay? And make sure you never fall for spam. I don't have a WhatsApp. I don't talk about a broker. Never send money or crypto to anyone. Today, I have a good friend of mine. His name is Josh Nichols. And um, we've been trading together actually since, what, 2008? Yeah. Uh, 2008. And uh, Josh is... Um, 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 has taught me a lot as it pertains to technicals. And um, I decided to have him on the show. He's part of my team. Uh, what I've learned when trading stock is and crypto is you never want to take all of your advice from someone that's always bullish or always agrees with you. Uh, there's times when we disagree and it causes us both to be better traders. Wouldn't you agree? I would. Right. So you want to look at both sides of the coins, be, be coin before you uh, invest any money in stock or crypto. So today we're going to be talking about two meme coins, as they call it. We're going to be talking about Shiba Inu and Doge, right? And we're going to look and we're going to chart them both right now because... Um, he brought something to my attention and we're going to see if we agree or not. All right. So Josh, um, let's, uh, you got an opening statement? Well, we're just going to look at some very basic, uh, technicals for SHIB and Doge. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to begin to look at uh, if this is a good time to enter back into these positions or increase our positions. Okay. So we all know about the geopolitical situation that's going on. I made a video on Saturday and I said that the biggest threat to the stock market is not Putin, it's Powell, all right? Because I believe that the war situation will find its path somewhere soon. And if not, the stock market will get used to it, all right? When that is over, the biggest threat still is inflation, okay? So we've got the one year uh, chart of SHIB and we're going to begin to look at some really basic uh, support and resistance lines. So let's go ahead and build them together. Uh -huh. So we see that we've had a, a trend support line here. And we'll build a couple lines of resistance as well. So we've got a line of resistance approximately here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we come in close on SHIB, we see that we've been in a clear downtrend. Mm -hmm. So we made a higher high here, and then we came and made a lower low, and then we made a higher high here, and a lower low here, and again, we made a higher high here, and a lower low. So we have been obviously going in a downtrend uh, since October of last year. And um, we are now beginning to hit some uh, support lines here. Mm -hmm. And we made a lower low mm -hmm. on January 22nd, right here. Okay. And from there, we went on to come very close to making a higher high, depending on how you look at it specifically. Um, we have established uh, potential higher high here mm -hmm. and we have then during the Russian attack mm -hmm. we came back and we made a higher low here okay mm -hmm. so we are looking on SHIB for the potential of a trend reversal if we can make a higher high mm -hmm. if we go back in time um, to where SHIB had originally taken off after it had consolidated and made a new high back here we see that once, so we had right here, we had a lower low and a higher high. And after that, it's kind of hard to see back on this uh, part of the chart, but 
we basically made a higher low and then we made on this day we made a higher high okay and that established a positive bullish trend moving forward which put us into uh, again a higher high and a higher low and after that was broken on this day it was confirmed we then really took off we saw from this area of consolidation to the high we saw a 217 percent increase uh, in that short area so what we're looking for is to see if SHIB has truly reversed this downward trend mm -hmm. we're looking to see if we have an established upward trend mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and uh, i cannot say that we have absolutely an established upward trend mm -hmm. but we have a really good point of it coming along its support line mm -hmm. and as at least establishing a higher low so the very next phase of this on shib would be for us to see it make a higher high and i would say that if we get a close above the high on February 7th of quad 3548. Mm -hmm. We're going to see a, a we're going to basically confirm a trend redirection. Mm -hmm. OK, and so this has begun to be a very interesting uh, setup on SHIB. But uh, let's go ahead and take a step back from this and let's look at Doge. OK. Before you say that, before okay. you go to Doge, right? So. I'm more of a fundamental person and he's more of a technical person. So I'll look at the technicals and I will look at the technicals as a, in some ways, a reaction of what happened. But it also is like sitting at the table and strategizing. And it's also, you can also look into it and it'll show you what could happen next. Yes. And so that's what I look at the technicals. Uh, I'm stronger on the fundamentals and Josh is stronger on the technicals. That's why we make such a good, a great team. And then we can make a decisive decision based on both. Now, I want to let you know, you guys know of a few things that's going on with you before we get there, because you have to add this into the overall strategy, right? So we know that SHIB's working on Metaverse, right? It's on Metaverse. And, um, you know, just like uh, with, uh, what is it called, uh, Sandbox. Mm -hmm. The closer you get to Snoop Dogg's house, the more you pay, the more you're worth the worth of your property. Same thing with Shiba Inu. The closer you get to the dog park, the more your property is supposed to be worth, right? There's a lot of excitement around that. And it's also causing the price, actually, uh, SHIB through this uh, geopolitical situation, as you know, it has been holding rather strong, uh, to my surprise. It made, a, it made a higher low. It did. And when, when everything else was going down, all the other crypto was going down, SHIB was like, SHIB was like the, like, you know, I'm going to One of the stay. few assets that were still profitable if you bought yeah. at the one set. Yeah, SHIB was like... I'm gonna stay here and fight, <laughs> you know? And um, and that's what SHIB did. And I, I was really, you know, look surprised at the strength of SHIB. So now let's go to uh, Shiba Inu and let's see how it performed during this time period also and then to the regular chart. Okay, let's go back to the charts. Okay. So just as we saw here on SHIB, here on the 24th of February, mm -hmm. um, this was, you know, it, it sold off slightly below support, mm -hmm. its trending support line, but it still closed the day above that line and has yet to break it. And so uh, this being the higher low that we referred to, mm -hmm. and this being the previous low, this is the beginning of the possibility of a trend reversal on SHIB. What we're looking for now would be that confirmation of a higher high. And this would not be, Larry, and this would be a great uh, thing to share with your audience. Yeah. A lot of times 
people would settle perhaps for a smaller profit here, mm -hmm. okay? But if we've established a true trend reversal on SHIB, mm -hmm. this would be the time to let that confirmation occur, okay, right. for the higher high, mm -hmm. and then look for those higher profits, mm -hmm. okay? Slow down on taking a, a, a small profit on that one, because right. again, when we had established the higher highs mm -hmm. earlier in the year, and we had a clearly defined repeated pattern right. of the higher highs and the higher lows. Mm -hmm. After the second time that had occurred, we went up 225%. Right. And so I would say that we're gonna to continue to watch this trend. Mm -hmm. And I would tell you that if we get a higher high and then a higher low, mm -hmm. this is getting more and more interesting. So it's just, you're, we're starting to stair step up. Correct. Now. All right, so you guys know that I have hard set prices and I wait and I'm patient. You guys know that's that's how I get down with it. But we're going to look at this chart more. We're going to go more into the charts. And then I want you to suggest to me what you think is a buy price. You know, and then I'm going to suggest to you what I think is a <laughs> buy price, okay? So you take it from there. Okay, so looking at the charts again, mm -hmm. uh, what I'm looking for here, and we'll get rid of some of this. What I'm looking for as far as a price point of entry is I'm looking for it to hold this trend line, okay? I'm looking, I would have my stop loss at this per current moment, I would have it below the quad 2047 area. So your stop loss would be quad 0247. If it breaks, seven. if that, it, yes. That tight. Yeah, if it breaks this higher low, mm -hmm. okay, I don't want to discover uh, at this point in time, I don't want to hold it while it discovers its lower low, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I would say that what I'm looking for is I don't believe if we broke that higher low, mm -hmm. then I would say that the next area of support would mm -hmm. be the quad, uh, what it did on January 22nd, which was quad 1-7, okay? Okay. And I would look for a double bottom, and I would look at possibly entering there. Explain to the people what a double bottom is. So a double bottom is For those when, that don't know. A double bottom is when the stock price returns to its lowest low and pretty much comes within a penny of it or a few cents of it, or comes and hits the exact price, and then the buyers return, okay? okay. Explain it again one more time. So we're looking for the buyers <laughs> that are going to return yep. after uh, it comes back close to its lowest low, or a few pennies above its lowest lows. We're looking for the mm -hmm. buyers who are looking for that price point to enter back in. Larry, that buy, that might be the type of that might you might be that type of buyer. Exactly. Someone who's who's not going to settle for the higher price. Exactly. Who's looking for it down and dirty. That's me. We're and, getting dirt now. Right? And <laughs> dirty is whatever that song is. If it if it broke this higher low mm -hmm. that was established on the Russian invasion day of February 24th, if it broke that, uh, then I would say that we are very likely going to go back and test the quad 1-7. Mm -hmm. And if we broke the quad 1-7, mm -hmm. then you would need to be prepared for anything beneath that. Because at that right. point, the technicals have broken down right. and we're looking for a lower low, which could be anywhere. Right. So, now that you brought up the quad 1-7, Quad one seven, my buy range, and I have to stay true to my word. My buy range has been under quad two zero. Actually, my buy range is between quad zero one seven and quad zero one nine at this time because now I'm going more fundament fundamental. So now what he's saying is technically sound. So what I'm going to do is add the fundamentals and fundamentally, I look at the whole picture. I look at the, uh, yet the interest rates though, we're thinking that it's not going to be a half a percent. It's going to be a quarter of a percent. And if you haven't seen by now, if the stock market tanks, so goes crypto. All right. I've been saying that for the last year and a half, about the last year now. 
and it's it's a uh, well nine months because that's when it started forming a correlation with the stock market. You know, in 2020, um, uh, it was the opposite of the stock market. Remember, stock market would do one thing, crypto would do another. Well, Bitcoin, and now there's a correlation. There's going to be mass adoption, right? I got a video that I'm gonna play for you guys tomorrow. There will be a mass adoption for crypto by the United States, and so will follow many other countries. Larry, yep. it seems like the world's been running a crypto Bitcoin Bitcoin infomercial oh, on the world stage. Absolutely, absolutely have. Uh, because you know, for those of you, I'll play it for you guys tomorrow. For those of you that didn't see Ted Cruz, who's a Republican. He is bullish. The very words that came out of his mouth is, I'm extremely bullish on He Bitcoin. seemed to imply in his speech that, yes. that capitalism and Western civilization hinged on it. Yes, absolutely. And so I've been saying it forever in the day. There will be adoption. And for those of us that get it at a better price, the earlier we get it and hold on the lower prices, the better we are. Let's go back to, let's look at Doge. Okay, let's yep. look at Doge. Let's go to the charts. Mm -hmm. Well, Doge um, has trended uh, consistently with Bitcoin and with SHIB, but we do have a different story here. So if we look at some trend lines, we saw here, after it had made this lower low, it then went on to make a higher high. We'll just point these out here. So we made our lower low on uh, December 4th, mm -hmm. and we really failed here on December 14th. We failed to make a higher high. It did not close uh, above the previous high. And so yet again, we attempted on, uh, it looks like December 24th, and mm -hmm. yet again, it failed to make a higher high. We then came down and we did not establish a lower low. I would say that this was really an area of, of consolidation. We went up yet one more time to attempt a higher high and we didn't. So both, both all of these movements were beginning to uh, form a little bit of a pendant, neither going lower nor higher, mm -hmm. until we came to January 22nd where we then created another lower low in this consolidation range. And it, go ahead, Blair. You joined January 22nd. Where were we? Uh, can you go to January 27th? Yes. So January 27th would be, let me get rid of this trend line. Because in the market, that was the, the new low on January 27th, for those of you that remember. Yeah, so really at that point, uh, it was still in that Doge pattern. was in sort of a, a consolidation. Yep. Um, from this area, the area that is of most concern is this. These are failed, these are failed higher highs. Mm -hmm. And then when we actually got to the point of the Russian invasion, yeah. we did make a confirmed lower low. 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 So in our most recent price action for mm -hmm. Dogecoin, we have confirmed a downward trend. Yeah. Now yeah. that's purely from the price action standpoint. Right. You know, we can't say that uh, that the social uh, uh, economy that Doge right. is building and the influence of Elon Musk and you know yes. whatever tweet might come out tomorrow. Yes. We can't say that this means that Doge is broke down and that it's uh, you know not going to have. A breakout right but if we're looking at it from really simple charting you yes. know and keeping it simple right. right it has made a new lower low in the mm -hmm. last week whereas SHIB mm -hmm. actually made a local higher, a higher high. high now I noticed that without talking and I I made a comment to that last week and you know to some of the doge people you got to be real careful because their their feelings are real sensitive right now Doge. And so, but you know, we have to look at the truth. Doge has been on a, for the last year now, Doge has just been on this consistent breakdown. While SHIB, everything came down, but SHIB is actually, is going through a build up. It's showing strength in a time of weakness. And so that's what I like about SHIB. 
and um, all of the things, there's more good news yet to come for Shiv, I believe, than Doge. And so if you had to pick between the two, I see Shiv as a better, uh, uh, you know, a, a better investment. At the moment, mm -hmm. you know, I... After our, our talks over the last week, and yep. you and I both took a, a new position in SHIB mm -hmm. around the time it hit the, the quad 1.7, yep. right? And then yep. we monitored it through this uh, downturn on the Russian attack day, right. um, you know, and I saw how well it performed and how it held its support line. Held it strong. I have to admit that after we had talked about uh, doing this video the yep. other day, I did sell a portion of my doge, yep. and I rolled it over into SHIB. Yeah. Uh, because I felt that even though Doge may do well, right. I'm thinking that I might have a higher rate of return. A higher rate shift. of return. And so that's what this is all about. Which one are you going to have a higher rate of return? So I'm not anti-Doge. I just see more opportunity in SHIB. Yeah. Hey, good people. Hey, make sure that you check out all the links below. I got a link down there for Weeble. Deposit some money and uh, get... Uh, free stocks worth up to $3,300. I got a link for Coinbase down there. And uh, I got a link for tip ranks. I want you to check out the tip ranks link. But Josh, hey, if you guys like this, uh, leave me a comment. Um, I think this is good, man. Maybe we should do this like once a week. Well, we do it almost every day in yeah. our personal <laughs> conversations. Yes. And so why not share it with others? Um, how about... Uh, how about Technical Tuesdays? That would be that, would, that right. sounds pretty good. If you guys like that, leave me a comment. Technical Tuesdays with Josh, and uh, we'll just keep this going for a while, and we'll see what comes up. You know, comes up from it actually. And um, I also call it Tip Ranks Tuesday because we want to see what the analysts say. But it'll be Tip Rank Technical Tuesdays with Josh. All right. Hey, uh, as always, in parting. Uh, before I say live, laugh, live, love, laugh, and learn, you got anything you want to say to the people? Well, I'm enjoying uh, my time always with Larry, and uh, you know I've pursued this uh, with him because it's fun. It's been entertaining. We've been making money. There so. you go. There you go. Hey, we're gonna leave it right there. Remember, leave us a comment if you want more of this. This is Josh, and we'll 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 just do technical Tuesdays. All right. Hey, live, love, laugh, and learn. See ya.